in this lesson we want to find the value of x that we satisfy uh, this equation here so we have x to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 3 times x to the power of 1 by 1 over 4 why did I uh, explain the right hand side that way so that you can understand that 3 is multiplying the fourth root of x mm? good so that's why you have 3x to the power of 1 over 4 so first things first is we are going to rewrite this as x to the power of 1 over 2 uh, is equal to 3 times x to the power of what? 1 over what? 4. That's how we are going to write this first. Now, from the laws of indices, we can write x to the power of 1 over 2 as the square root of x. Hmm? So we then have something like this. Square root of x is equal to that x to the power of 1 over 2 we turn to the square root of x is equal to 3 times 4 root of what? x. We can write x to the power of 1 over 4 as the 4 root of what? of x. Now from here, the next, things, the next thing we are going to do now is uh, we are going to square both sides but before we square both sides let's rewrite this as the root of x is equal to 3 times the fourth root of x will be 3 3 what fourth root of what of x right because that 3 is multiplying it now Next, uh, next thing we are going to do now is that we are going to square both sides to get rid of the square root in the left hand side. So let's square both sides. So if we square both sides now, we are going to square both sides. So as we've square both sides now, this square we cancel out this root here. Hmm? So if this square cancel out this root here. What we'll be having will be just x on the left hand side because the square has cancelled out our square root. So leaving us with x equal to what? This uh this square will also affect 3 here. And it will cancel out. We're going to cancel out a square from the fourth root. If you cancel out square from fourth root, you're left with square, with square root. If you cancel out no, notes, if you cancel out square from a fourth root you will be left with square root then this square is also affecting this three here so we now have three squared are we together uh square root what x i hope you're following so this is what we are left with now now from here uh we will now have x equal to three squared is nine root what root x square root x are we together now the next thing we are going to do now is that we are going to we are going to uh, square both sides again to get rid of our square root x so if we square both sides again if we square both sides again this uh, square we cancel our square root then remember that this square will also affect 9. Then we then have something like this. And that square will, will affect x. So we have x squared to be equal to 9 squared. Uh, uh, 9 squared times x. We're left with x because the square has cancelled our square root. Finally, we now have x squared is equal to 9 uh, uh, 9 squared is 81 times x will be 81x so this is what we are going to be having we are not done yet uh, next thing we are going to do is that we are going to bring 81x to the left hand side so as it's positive it becomes negative uh, on, the, on the left hand side so we now have something like this uh, x squared minus 81 
x is equal to 0. So we are going to factorize now. So factorizing this now, we will now have it to be what is common in x squared minus 81x? x is common, right? So x will be into brackets x minus 81 is equal to what? 0. x squared divided by x is x, right? Then minus 81x divided by x will give us minus 81, isn't it? So either x is equal to 0 or x minus 81 is equal to what? 0. So that we can now see that if we move minus 81 to the right hand side back, x will be equal to 81. So the values of x that we satisfy this equation is x is equal to 0 or 81. So these are the value of x that we satisfy at this equation. Thanks so much for viewing. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Please don't forget to follow and like this video. Bye.